A few minutes ago, I was walking back from lunch down the road from the synagogue, and I was thinking about something that we do so often that maybe deserves a little attention, which is, unless we live on a desert island, in which case we might only meet a seagull and a crab for company, all of us are professional at this point in our lives, encounterers. We all encounter people constantly throughout the day. How many encounters in a lifetime? I left the restaurant. How many people had I encountered in it with a smile, a glance, eye contact, an exchange of words? So many encounters. And since that's probably the most important thing that we do in this world, more important than profession or education or anything else that might be more formal that we think of ourselves as being, our identity, we are ultimately people in the constant or near constant act of human encounter. So how do we refine that experience of encounter? Well, one is to notice ourselves in it. Maybe one of the things that we notice about ourselves in encounter is that we rush to judgment, that we look at a person's clothing, weight, height, uh, listen to their accent, listen to the way they use language, look at the writing on their shirt, look at their clothing in general, look at their haircut or color, and immediately rush to judgments about who that person is and whether or not they're worthy even of encounter and how we're going to encounter them. Will it be in solidarity and kindness that isn't patronizing but is genuine? Or will it be with distance? Or will it be with human love and generosity? Another thing that we do is we encounter people we know, not just the strangers that I mentioned that I may never see again. You and I encounter each other. And one of the questions I have for you is, do we encounter the person today? Or are we constantly repeating the encounter of yesterdays? Do I encounter you and see you afresh today, recreated, because you have that ability? Or do I assume that you're going to present as you did yesterday and the last time I saw you and the last time I saw you? And therefore, when you walk through the door, do I bring my expression and my experience of you to bear, my expectations of you to bear based on the past? You know that when you have an investment, they always say that the past doesn't necessarily indicate the future. Well, we should bear that in mind with people, too. We have all been different ways in our past, even if the past was a minute ago. We should have the opportunity to be seen for who we are in this moment, which is ever-growing, ever-striving, hopefully ever-changing in the best possible ways. We have a chance to rise above the mammal self, the mammal that is in encounter in a different way, looking at what it can get, what it can take, and how it can protect itself. The mensch, the better part of ourselves, the better form and use of ourselves, is the person who says, how can I be in this world that elevates, that adds light to encounter, that adds beauty and a sense of godliness, of holiness to the spark, the encounter that occurs between one human being, myself, and another. So I hope that these thoughts are inspiring of even better thoughts in you as you think about how you are in one of the most important aspects of who you are, which is an encounterer.